All right, so let's play with something called the Harold Dahl Flame Table. It was uh, created in 1986. It kind of looks like a big metal air hockey table. 400 holes, got a speaker on the side, and of course, we're going to fill it with propane. Now, if the Rubens tube is sound bisected by a line, then this thing, the flame table, is sound bisected by a plane. It works in two dimensions, and it's really good for showing the different resonant modes of sound. So let's fire it up and see what it does. Okay. So we've got a table there with a whole lot of cool flame tips. First thing we're going to do is run a sweeping sine curve that goes from about 110 to 900 hertz in about 90 seconds. And what you can see is every time it gets to a uh, resonant frequency, it creates a pattern. And uh, sometimes these patterns will get pretty intense, even kind of uh, will create little uh, flame vortexes. show that sound moves around not just like in straight lines but it goes in 360 degrees and kind of bounces off everything cancels out and when it resonates that's what creates these cool patterns like that kind of X you see there. Now this next one coming up is definitely my favorite it kind of looks like a big fiery star. Okay then, let's try running some uh, music through this. Uh, let's start out without something uh, just a little softer. Let's run through something a little uh, more brutal. And that's a flame box. I hope you enjoyed it.